what is up you all welcome to the channel it is sam and if you guys have not been here before nice to meet you in this video i'll be showing you adobe audition how to mix with stock plugins i know stock plugins people will be like oh stock plugins they're not waves they're not fab filter they're not uad give it a chance give it a chance bargain for your buck adobe audition is twenty dollars a month i think twenty dollars a month I'll put a link to get that in the description as well. And at the end of this video, you guys will be getting the free template to this session. And I'm just gonna show you what it sounds like with all the plugins on it. I'm not worried about the stroke, cause in the end, I'ma make it. I'ma do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes, I'ma be the greatest. Ain't nobody stopping me. Only person that I see that has competition and a problem with me is me. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, the vocals were recorded with this here microphone. I'll leave this in the description below too. And I did not use a pop filter. And I just recorded it like, just like how I'm recording right now. Recorded it just like that. And vocals could have been better, yeah. But um, this is just for the tutorial purposes and Let's get into it. I'm going to turn all the effects off. Turn all the effects off. Now let's get into the beat. All right. So when, the, when you import the beat, everybody's different on how they mix and master their beats. Sometimes they're mixed for the intention of an artist getting on it. Sometimes they're mixed and mastered for, just for people to listen to. All right. Oh, and I want to tell you guys one rule. Mixing has no rules. It doesn't. Mix to your ear, not to what you see. And also, everybody does not sound the same. You may not sound like me. I might not sound like you. You might not sound like Kendrick Lamar. You might not sound like J. Cole. But I know with this, what I do know, this video will help you help you out you're using adobe audition and i will definitely be doing more tutorials on it anyway back into the video okay i'm about to show you where it clips at and the more that you play well the more i continue to play the beat it'll hit at negative one. And as you see on the leveling meter right here, it'll show that. So, so this is why I put it at negative 9.8. And then here we go. You gotta leave enough room for you to mix your vocals into the beat so it can blend. So let's get into the first effect that I used on the vocals. All right. I go to dynamics processing and I use de or medium. Reason why I chose the medium is because it's not too harsh and it's not too light. Medium because it's not too harsh and it's not too light. I'm not worried about the struggle because in the end, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes, I'm going to be the greatest. Ain't nobody stopping me. Only person that I see that has competition and a problem with me is me. So... There's that. Here is my EQ. I boost it over here. All I did was just go through and I was just listening. It took me a while. I was just listening to the vocal like this. I'm not worried about the struggle because in the end, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes. I'm so I normally just start over here over here and then all right so when you go to i like to use um fft filters and i go to the set and kill mic rumble now this is for when you hit the mic on accident or um you have big plosives in your voice like saying the p or the s and the anything popping in the back so I like to use kill mic rumble and there's that multi-band compressor 
is my multi band. Here are the settings. Like I said before, everything will be in the template when you guys get it. Now we're gonna play with the multi band. I'm not worried about the struggle because in the end, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes. So let me play it with the beat. Let me solo because I don't want the ad libs or doubles in there just yet. I'm not worried about the struggle because in the end, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes. Sounds a little bit better, but it's not to where I want it at just yet. Now I pulled up the single band compressor because why not have two? What is better than one, two? Unless you're racing, then you want to be number one. But anyway, this is not a preset. This is off the preset, light mastering, but I changed the numbers a little, little bit. And um, here it sounds like without the beat. I'm not worried about the struggle because in the end, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do whatever. And then we're going to play it with beat. I'm not worried about the struggle because in the end, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do whatever it takes. So I sounds a little bit better. We're getting gradually better. And then the last thing I used was a subtractive EQ. I did a little bit more boosting, but I did take out some over here. And then right here, it was just the vocal breath. I went off this pre uh, preset, but I changed some things around. So here it is with the beat. I'm not worried about the struggle because in the end, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Now, mind you, there's nothing on the master just yet. I'm going to show you that later. Okay. Now we're going to mix my doubles. I'm going to show you what I did to the doubles. I put it at a negative 10 because I recorded this way too close, way too loud. No, I think I was way too loud. I was just hollering and shit. So um, here we go. Here it is without, well, without the beat. Struggle, make it greatest. Now you guys hear that in the background. I'm gonna show you what I was talking about earlier. You go right here, see? You can either click um, noise reduction, like I said, like capture noise print, then go to noise reduction, or you can just right click and hit silent. Now I like to do silent, because sometimes the noise reduction does not get everything. And I just go in, and silence right there. I want it again. And after that, play it again. We're going to play it with the beat. Struggle. Make it. Greatest. You can do whatever you want to your doubles, but I'm going to show you what I did. Now, I have an EQ on here. The same EQ, but I boosted and I pretty much put the subtractive EQ and the I boosted up here this time. Right here and right here. Boosted. And then some everything else I took down. I was just going by my ears. It took a little bit because I had to keep listening. Because I went by each band at a time. See where I wanted to go with it. Now here is the multi-band compressor. Now here are the settings for that. I did not use a preset. We're gonna play it with both. Struggle, make it greatest. I mean, it's good to have the graph. It'll show you here, things like that. And then here is my reverb that I put on. This is just a regular reverb, reverb that I put on. And let's play it with it. Struggle, make it greatest. So, and then right here, let's play it with 
lead. I'm not worried about the struggle, cause in the end, I'ma make it. I'ma do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes, I'ma be the greatest. Ain't nobody stopping me. There's still nothing on the master. Here are my ad libs and random things that I was just yelling out. Um, I did decrease the volume on it to a negative 11.3. I put a EQ on it. I did some boosting. Here's my reverb. Now, this is not a preset. This is just something I went off by my ear. And so I did the room size. As, you, as you've seen in the, um, the doubles track, I had this at 10. I lowered it a little bit. And then I lowered the wet to 27 because it was 30. And I think this, this was 100, but I didn't want it completely wide, like to the extreme. So I put 94. And then I have an echo right here. And we're going to play all of that together. I'm not worried about the struggle, cause in the end, I'ma make it. I'ma do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes, I'ma be the greatest. Ain't nobody stopping me. Only person that I see that has competition and a problem with me is me. All right. Now we're going to go to the mastering. The mastering track, I have a compressor on it. And here, it's called a tube model compressor. So, I have my attack, my gain, my threshold. I changed my threshold because it was making the beat clip. So we're going to play it with the tube compressor. I'm not worried about the struggle, cause in the end, I'ma make it. I'ma do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes, I'ma be the greatest. Ain't nobody stopping me. Only person that I see that has competition and a problem with me is me. And then I have the plugin called the Mastering. This is still all stock plugins. And this is what I did. Reverb on the complete track is 20. Put retro as my exciter. I mean, you can put tape, tube. It's just whatever you want to. And um, I boosted my exciter a little bit, 17%. I widened it some more to 33. I left this at 15 and my out game. Now let's listen to the whole track. I'm not worried about the struggle, cause in the end, I'ma make it. I'ma do whatever it takes so I can be the fucking, fucking greatest. Yes, I'ma be the greatest. Ain't nobody stopping me. Only person that I see that has competition and a problem with me is me. There are no rules to mix and mastering. You just don't want to, like, have it to the point where you're busting your eardrums out. But... Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, click the like button, hit the subscribe. More videos like this are on the way. Also, I would be doing one with autotune, stock autotune, like everything stocked. So if you want to sound like Travis Scott, um, who else uses autotune? The Migos. Like vocals like that, I can do a tutorial for that for sure. And every video that I do, I'll have a template at the end for you guys to download. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys. In